So here I have a complete DOL starter in which the motor starts when you press the start push button, indication lamp is also glowing. On pressing stop push button, off indication lamp is glowing and the motor also turned off here. Now in this starter, how to connect the R meter and M meter we are going to learn through this video. So let's start the video. At the moment, in this starter, we have to connect the R meter first. If you don't know what is R meter, then let me tell you that this motor here, if we start this motor, then it will count for how long the motor is running. So it is very simple to connect this R meter. What you have to do simply is there are two terminals behind it. As you can see, there are two terminals here. You have to connect two wires with these two terminals. And after connecting these two wires, what we have to do is that we have to connect one of our wire with the neutral power supply. In this way, we have connected one wire with the A2 terminal. Now the second wire here, we have to connect it with the phase supply, that too with the A1 terminal of this contactor. But here we can see that on A1 terminal, already two wires are connected. So in this condition, what we can do is that this wire here, from where this wire is looped, as you can see, this is the NO contact here. This wire is connected to this NO contact. That is, with this wire of holding circuit, we can connect this wire. The power supply will come in this wire only when our contactor starts. So with this NO contact, I am connecting this wire. Let's understand the connection by using the circuit diagram here. See friends, our R meter here, like I have an R meter here. So if I want to do connection of this R meter, then to connect it, I will connect it directly with the neutral power supply. Now this R meter, we have to connect power supply to this R meter from such a place so that if power supply comes at that place, then our motor starts in this condition. So what we can do here is that the R meter here with the A1 terminal of the contactor, here is the A1 terminal. So by looping a wire through this terminal, provide power supply to the R meter. So the connection of the R meter is simple. You just have to provide phase supply and neutral supply here. Now let's test it once. I turn on the MCB here. After turning on the MCB, you will see that the R meter is in off condition at the moment. Now I am starting the motor here. After starting, you will see that the whole reading is zero at the moment. The display in this R meter here, in this first display here, this is for hour, this is for minute and this is for second. In this R meter, it will count here once in six seconds. That means after completing six seconds, it will show one. After completing 12 seconds, it will show 2. That means before completing 60 seconds, 9 will come here. After completing 60 seconds, it will show 1 minute here. As you can see, it is showing 1 minute here. This means this motor has run for 1 minute. It displayed here. Now I turn off the motor here. After turning it off, how much current is flowing in this motor? To measure this, I am connecting the emitter here. As you know, if we have a type of emitter in which there is a display, then we have to provide a power supply to turn on the display. At the same time, we have to provide the current feedback to measure the current. To provide the current feedback, we will use this type of CT. So how we will connect by using both, let's understand this too. So this digital emitter I have, a diagram has been made on this emitter that how we have to connect it. In this connection, it is told here that the third and fourth terminal here, we have to provide a power supply to these terminals. To provide power supply, I am taking two wires here and connect these two wires to the third and the last terminal in this way. Now in this M meter, we will get two more terminals here. We have to connect two wires with these two terminals. So I am taking these two wires and connecting these with this. We will use these two wires to get the current feedback from our CT. In this M meter, you can see S1 and S2 is written here. So the S1 wire will go to the first terminal and the S2 wire will go to the second terminal. So what I will do is first terminal wire here, this one, I am connecting this wire with S1. Now we will connect this S2 wire with the S2 terminal of CT. So I connected it here. Now I have to connect these two wires of this emitter with the phase supply and neutral supply. So what I do for this is MCB here, the power supply which is connected to the output of the MCB I'm connecting with this. Now what I will do is, I will bring one wire from here and connect it with the phase supply which is coming at this point. If you want, you can also connect it with the MCB, there is no problem. To keep it simple for the time being, I am connecting it here. Now we will take this neutral wire of this emitter, this one, and we will connect it with the neutral terminal here. 
So we have connected this ammeter. Now here we only have to connect this CT with the phase supply. I mean the current should flow from inside this CT, then only our CT will detect the current. So what I do for this is, I am removing the phase supply wire from here. And after removing it, I will see where P1 and P2 is written in this CT. As you can see here, P2 is written above this CT. P2 means that output of the power supply should be from here. It means the phase supply will go from here and will come out from here. So I insert this wire inside it like this. Means the current will flow from here and will go to this side. The current should enter from P1 side and should come out from P2 side. So I put it here and after putting it, I am connecting this wire here again. Let's understand the connection by using the circuit diagram here. Now if we have to connect this ammeter using the CT, then we will connect our CT with the three phase power supply. That is I connected it here. Now this CT has two wires, one is S1 and the other is S2. So we will take the S1 wire and where S1 is written, connect it with this. We will take the S2 wire and connect it with the S2 terminal of the ammeter. So our ammeter here, we provided the feedback of CT to this ammeter. Now to operate this ammeter, we have to provide the phase supply and neutral supply. So for this, what we can do, power supply here, through this power supply, we can provide the phase supply to this ammeter by connecting a wire. And we will provide the neutral power supply directly through the neutral power supply. So you can understand how to do connection here. Now I turn on the MCB here. After starting the MCB, you will see that right now the display of this ammeter has turned on. Now we have to do some programming in our ammeter. In this, we have to do programming that what is the ratio of our CT. At the moment, I am using the CT ratio as 100 by 5. So what I have to do here is to divide 100 by 5. After dividing, 20 will come. So I have to do programming here as 20. So I press the set button here. After pressing the set button, programming is done here. Now I press the start push button here. You will see that the current will show here. You can see that 7.8 ampere current is shown here. Then it became zero here. It became zero because the current rating of this motor is very low. It means that this motor is taking less than one ampere. Because of this, this ammeter is not able to show my current. The current range of this ammeter I have is above two ampere. It means that when above 2 ampere current will flow, then only it will show here. If the current is less than 2 ampere, then nothing will be displayed here. So at the present time, you just understand how to connect this ammeter and how to program it. You can also see the R meter here. Here it is written 3.7. It means that my motor has run for 3 minutes. Now I turn off the motor here. After turning off, you will see that the R meter display is gone but display of my ammeter is still here. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then do like and comment on this video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, then subscribe it. Thanks for watching this video.